So do you think he's seeing someone new? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. Well, he stopped answering my phone calls. Scene three, take one. Ella is about a young high school recluse who's thrust into a game of fugitive by his older brother's ex-girlfriend, Ella. And as they play this game, they get separated and they have to come to grips with how they feel about each other and how they feel uh, about the pressures they face as Asian American teenagers growing up in the Midwest. Do you want to screw tomorrow? Yeah, let's walk into tomorrow. Yeah, because I imagine she's got like some luggage and stuff and we'll move there. So Dan approached me back in December about this uh, short film that he really wanted to, to tell and make. And uh, he sent me the script and I immediately fell in love with uh, the story, with the characters, with the location. And I, you know, I knew I really wanted to be a part of this and help, um, help make this happen. So we ended up shooting this movie on a large format camera rig that our cinematographer Phillips built. And the point of it's not resolution, it's more about bringing the viewers closer to what's happening without sacrificing how much they see around their subjects. Photography was invented in the big like camera first. So there was like large format first before we have medium format, before we have small 35 millimeter. We're actually going back to the roots of where we're supposed to see image. The original natures of the perceptions of us. The reason why we used it was to make the ordinary feel epic. And we wanted to give it that sense of weight and gravity that's usually reserved for epic movies. And we wanted to give that to kind of the everyday teenage experience. One of the things I wanted to do with Ella was make it feel like out of time. You couldn't really place when it took place. And what was great about the brim color was that it felt like a natural filmic quality without being too stylized. So it really just threaded the needle of being exactly the right look that we wanted to go with. So Dan reached out to the brim and pitched the project to them. And they're like, hey, awesome. Hey, here's a bunch of LUTs that we're just going to email you and have fun with it. When we got the Brim's uh, looks, uh, our cinematographer Phillips was able to upload them into the camera. And so on set, we got to monitor the footage and the viewfinder with that specific color. So it really brought us into the world that much more to have it present on set instead of guessing what it would look like later. Yep, you get, get yourself close to the rail as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. You want me to go underneath? Yeah, we want to So one of the techno challenges is that we were trying to do this Movi setup with um, this really intense adapter on an Alexa Mini which is like oh, completely over their weight capacity. But our amazing first AC, Mark, he was like, dude, we can, we can do this. Like, you know, that's what we're here to do. And Mark just go to Home Depot at seven o'clock in the morning and get a bunch of weight. Like he literally just cut these little metal parts to like add to the back of the camera to make, make it just off balance enough to get, you know, the camera to, to go in like this sort of stabilized system. And uh, we got it. At the end of the day, we got it just in time to make the movie. Wow, my most memorable scene. I would have to say it's the running scene. It was just a really fun shot to get. And you know, we had to make sure that everyone was safe. We had to shut down the road. We had the police come and we had to coordinate all these extras and we had moving vehicles, uh, but we were able to execute it. And I think it looks great. So they did a really good job um, making that happen. So now that we finished Ella, we're submitting to film festivals and we're also planning uh, friends and family screenings both in Los Angeles and in Kansas where it was shot because I really want to have people experience this movie in a theater.
We had the incredible opportunity to film in Manhattan, Kansas. And so when you're watching the film, uh, just pay attention to the locations and everything was uh, meticulously thought out. It's actually where Dan was from. And being able to shoot in Manhattan, Kansas gave this film this, this unique personal perspective that I think really contributed to the overall uh, product. Well, I just wanted to thank 123RF for coming aboard this project. Um, it wouldn't have been possible without their support. I mean, because of their support, we were able to shoot our behind the scenes photos on film in medium format. And I'm really excited for the world to see it.